you know, when you say you know something about August Wilson, well, that's in the moment, right? <laughs> because with August, it's like there's this progressive revelation, huh. right? I, I know for a fact that five years from now, I will be sitting somewhere in a chair and I'll be thinking, son of a gun. That's what that meant. You know what I mean? <laughs> Welcome to Goodman Theatre's Behind the Curtain, where we discuss plays, process, and more. Today, I'm here with Sharif Atkins, who is playing Citizen Barlow in August Wilson's Gym of the Ocean. Hello, How Sharif. Doing? How are you? I'm doing great. That was a lovely introduction. Oh, well, thank you. The <laughs> smile is just perfect. I'll pay you later. Uh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here and talking all things August Wilson yeah. and Jim of the Ocean and yeah. your journey with it. You know, it's, it's interesting. I was thinking about it 20 years ago. I had a little bucket list as a, as a young actor, but there was one thing that I didn't get a chance to do. I had performed at the Victory Gardens at Steppenwolf, the Shakespeare rep, but I didn't get a good man. <laughs> and so 20 years later, to have the opportunity to be uh, in a Goodman Theater production, an August Wilson production on the main stage. The very first time I did some August Wilson, I was a sophomore in college. I had an opportunity to be a part of a student-run theater on the Northwestern University campus and it was called the African American Theater Ensemble. Mm. And we had chosen to do piano lesson and I was able to play the role of Boy Willie. Okay. And so I just remember the whirlwind that was this character. Whatever questions I might've had about the, the art, the pursuit of it, I was like, mm, oh no. Mm. Oh yeah, if I get to do stuff like this, oh, I'm, I'm in. I love that story, just how you were introduced to August Wilson. Yeah. And I think that that part, as, a, as an actor myself, you need those moments. Yeah. You need that revelation where, yeah. where you realize, oh my gosh, there's me on this page, yeah. or I know this story, or yeah. that's something that pulls you in. And I think that's what has kept me in yeah. theater. Yeah. For sure, the yeah. works of August Wilson and Lorraine Hansberry yeah. and then now Dominique Morisot and yeah. um, Christina Anderson, the, yeah. these these playwrights who speak of the Black experience yes. um, it, in a way that 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 you have ownership, you feel ownership of, of this of the story. Absolutely. Well, it, it's the it's the whole human being. Yes. Right? Yes. Like it's the whole human being. Mm -hmm. I think one of the beautiful things about this play in particular is that he, he very deftly like lays out all of these different points of view and experiences. And there's this gumbo of, it's like, oh, so there's, there's no monolith here. There, there's, no, there's no singular experience here. Yes, yeah, Caesar it's, it's, and it's, Citizen alone, those yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's varied. Um, so I think that, I think the humanity is what gets any actor of uh, color excited about doing August, yes. right? You don't have to dig deep to try to craft something out of a two-dimensional portrayal of whatever mm -hmm. role you play, no. It's all there. With Jim of the Ocean, you are playing Citizen Barlow. Yes. Tell me about Citizen. Citizen is a, is a rascal, <laughs> as Aunt Esther <laughs> so rightly puts it. But he's a, he's a brave and courageous soul. Few missteps here and there and, and, and things of that nature, but this journey that August is, uh, has painted, is, uh, it's a beautiful one. His journey leads him to the City of Bones. Yes. Tell us about the city, the city of bones in, in Gem of the Ocean. I'm still figuring it out. I suspect that the city of bones actually probably looks different for every person. Sure. But August said, uh, I've seen in one of his interviews, he said um, something to the effect of uh, the black community wants to uh, quickly, wants to set aside slavery, wants to move past that and, 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 and get on being what, he said, he said, no, that's, that's not it. That's, mm. that's not the thing. 
That's not the thing. No, you want to look at that. He's talking about confronting some truth. And so now I'm wrestling with, in process now, wrestling with this idea of the city of bones, it's truth, being able to look at your past, embrace it, accept it, but not be defined by it. Mm -hmm. If you walk out of the theater with that alone, mm -hmm. there's gonna be some freedom in the streets <laughs> of Chicago. <laughs> Thanks for watching Behind the Curtain. For more videos like this, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.